Today we're going to be talking about how to use more PCIe lanes than your processor supports. My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and if you're like any other enthusiast, you are looking at the data sheets of your processor and seeing a number of PCIe lanes that you will be actually able to use. You are capable of using more PCIe lanes with two separate technologies that may be available on a mainboard near you. These are going to be your PEX or PLX chips, which we'll refer to as PLX, and your PCH chip, which is normally like the south bridge of a mainboard, which has been around since 2009. So it wasn't even invented at the same time as PCI Express ports. The fastest PCI Express lanes are those supplied by your processor, and for this reason, your SLI is required to go through those specific lanes. In fact, NVIDIA graphics cards are typically plugged into your processors, PCI Express lanes to have the best performance possible. This is why you have a port that's almost exclusively dedicated to graphics cards, and it is a 16X slot for a reason, even though your graphics card can very easily function on an 8X slot. But that is the absolute minimum for an NVIDIA graphics card. For AMD, you can get away with using fewer lanes, but your performance may suffer. And contrary to NVIDIA, you can also use PCIe lanes that are not from the CPU, but much rather from the PCH chip in order to get Crossfire. But I'm gonna to explain to you why it is better to use the ones from the processor. And that is because they're directly connected to the processor. And because they are directly connected to the processor and they are directly connected to the RAM, all the draw calls and all the commands that need to be sent between the graphics card, the processor, and the RAM and all that are operating at a higher speed. If you needed to use more, you can have a PLX chip that will do switching of the processor bound PCIe lanes, and that allows for more devices to be connected to fewer PCIe lanes while using the number that they require. And if your graphics cards are connected in SLI, they have to have a minimum of eight lanes each meaning that even that switching motion may not be possible if you only had 16 lanes available if you are operating in SLI with two cards. Keep in mind that if you only have 16 lanes available from your processor, you will not be able, even with PLX, to achieve a three or even a four card just because of the way it works. You could plug other devices in but you would not get all the lanes required for your SLI. So that is very important to understand. And this is where PCH lanes or PCIe lanes available from the PCH chip come into play. Now, you have to remember, PCH chips can only assign in chunks of four, meaning that they are already from the beginning, from the get-go, not going to be used for SLI since you need to have eight. It also means that if you only had 24 PCH lanes, you can only connect six devices, or at least that is what you would think. You see, some of the devices that you have built in are already using those PCH lanes, and therefore you have fewer PCH lanes available to you than you would have previously thought. But in theory, you should be able to populate every single one of your PCI Express slots, provided you follow the manual and all of its instructions, and not have any issues with hardware, provided that you're not trying to do anything that is outside the abilities of the mainboard. And that is because if you have access to a PLX chip and a PCH chip on the same mainboard, and you are supplied with more than enough PCI Express lanes, you should be able to have everything turned on and still enjoy your computer, do everything that you need to do and do all the gaming that you want. Now, I hope that explanation helps answer why you can use more PCIe lanes than your processor can support. 
Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share what those who think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, and find other ways of subscribing. And use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, I normally play on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'm currently playing Watch Dogs Legion. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.